This is not a line. I, this funny. is funny. Nate's laughing at all the wrong things. <laughs> Why am I not performing I tonight? You need to laugh for your audience, Eric. We may. Hey, this guy's hilarious. Oh. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge. So many reasons we should be thankful for our friend Eric Bergen. Uh, first of all, he's a great guy. He does great things for the community. We'll get into that in a minute. Don't want his ego to get too big. Oh. But... <laughs> Uh, there's an incredible organization here in New York City called God's Love We Deliver. And Eric was so gracious to invite us, all of us, over to help pack food, get it ready to go out to people who really need it. And uh, we appreciate that very much. I don't think we ever really thanked you properly. Thank you for getting us involved. Uh, thank you for coming. It was an incredible day. You guys uh, you guys were there uh, putting, in, uh, putting in some hours in there. We did. It was good. And I know, th- I know that you have an event tonight for God's Love, right? Yeah. I mean, God's Love is one of the you know institutions in New York City. I mean, they what they do is they uh, cook and home deliver medically tailored meals to people who are too sick to shop or cook for themselves uh, all over New York City. They do incredible work. And for so long, uh, Joan Rivers was one of their biggest champions, and she uh-huh. was on the board. And um, and despite you know not despite but besides being one of the funniest people in the world, she had an incredible heart. And so tonight we are putting together something I think she would have loved, which is called Dead Funny, an all star <laughs> tribute to Joan Rivers. <laughs> you know because she's she cur- would have loved that. Well, she's currently dead, <laughs> yes. and she's she, she still is. funny. Why is something else going to happen? Like just she's just currently dead? <laughs> well, I don't know. You know everything is possible these days. Yeah. So we're doing it tonight at the uh, Apollo theater it is opening night of the new york comedy festival and we're raising money for god's love and and uh it's the lineup is just nuts well give us the lineup i know that you're co uh, executive producing this with melissa rivers i am uh and yes. who's on stage being funny uh, first of all are you doing any stand-up do you do stand-up eric no the the <laughs> limits to my comedy are right now this is this is as about as funny as i get and and oh boy uh, yeah exactly it's a, it's a rough crowd <laughs> Um, uh, no, we got Tiffany Haddish and uh, Mate. Oh, is she here? No. Oh, she's been here. She oh, she's been here. Oh, I thought she. I thought she was one of those surprise moments. <laughs> surprise! Yeah. Uh, here she is. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Michelle Buteau, uh, Matteo Lane, Randy Rainbow, Joel McHale, Jeff Ross, um, uh, uh, Rita Wilson. Um, uh, it's an incredible lineup, and then we have a whole slew of, of surprise guests. So Ooh. it's quite wow. an incredible That's show. Awesome. Well, so yeah. far the line is, the lineup is great. We've had most of those people here with us. And you don't I'm, need to brag. I know you're very <laughs> fancy. I don't know why the name the name drop. Yeah, no, we've all we've met them all. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Screw you, Eric. <laughs> you know, okay, I, I want to talk to you on the, uh, about something you mentioned while the song was playing about yeah. you wanting to become an actor again even though you're always an actor <laughs> of course Eric with uh, huge roles in uh, the musical drama film Jersey Boys yeah. also you were how many seasons in Madam Secretary you uh, played we did uh, six Blake. seasons on Madam Secretary yeah a huge huge yeah. show but it, now here's what I noticed right around pandemic time Eric kept working but he was in a producer's role you were producing a lot of things for like people who work in broadway who yeah. lost their jobs you did a lot of charity production doing yeah that. It, it seems all, like you still do it, it is i started with that that very first the, the week that covid shut down broadway i called rosie o'donnell and said will you do a one night reboot of your show as a fundraiser for the actors fund and we raised like eight hundred thousand dollars in one night that that very first week of covid wow, wow. and then it was off to the races. The next day, I got all these phone calls from other charities saying, can you please do that same thing for us? And I said, no, uh, that's not what I do. I mean, I, you're very nice, but that's not what I do. As it turns out, it's what I do. So jo- the Joan event tonight is something like the 345th event I've produced since that wow. time. Which that's is, crazy. That's it's so awesome. crazy. I, I don't sleep. I don't, well, I do eat, but I don't sleep. Uh, it's, yeah, it's wild. I mean, it's been a wild, wild time. I'm, I'm uh, so I have this, I have a group of people that I work with who we produce great things for great causes. And um, uh, tonight is certainly one of them. And Elvis, you did you did a few with with ours. I, I got you. Yeah, I yeah, but in. but the, you did. You rubbed <laughs> hard, and it worked. The thing is, is you know, over three hundred of these events you have produced, and you've done a lot of great things and raised a lot of money and awareness for incredible organizations. But what about you? What about that acting itch? Are you acting like well, you want to act again? I do have an itch. I am seeing my doctor about that right after <laughs> I leave here. Good idea. Yeah. Um, is this part of the stand-up routine? This is it. Well, I'm, I'm trying some material out, you know, <laughs> a, before we go live. The um, A material. Yeah. Uh, my A material. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I did. I, I did a few episodes of Bull. I went to Broadway and I did Chicago, but the the thing I'm most excited about is in the spring, in April, I am uh, back to Broadway as a performer, and I'll be in 
uh, uh, Boop, the Betty Boop musical that is oh. wow. on Broadway. That uh, David That's Foster. That's so cool. David Foster wrote that, wrote the score, um, and Jerry Mitchell, who did uh, Kinky Boots and Hairspray, uh, uh, is the director of. And it's we 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 did an out of town tryout last year, and it's it's just so much fun. It's oh, that's just awesome. so much fun. So I will go back to making less money as an actor uh, in just a few months. Good for you. That, that's not a joke. That that's dream. real, by the way. <laughs> you wanted to get back to it. I wanted to get back to making less money. Do you yeah. prefer? Of course you did. Because obviously, TV and Broadway are completely different. Do you prefer one to the other? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it. It's there's nothing. You get on stage, and there is nothing like that rush. I mean, of <laughs> well, you know, if there's people in the audience, if there's no one in the audience, it's a it's a bad thing. But you know, when you do a killer show on Broadway, it is a wild rush. That thing that people have when they have stage fright, the opposite side of that, that rush you get is it, it's so um, uh, it's a rush is the best way to describe it. Do you have it. a oh, dream so cool. dream show that you'd like to do? Um, uh, God, I don't, you know, I wish I was young enough to do Jersey Boys again because, and to play a, play a, a 16 year old again, because it was, <laughs> it was great. Excuse me. That's not funny. <laughs> uh, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's that A material coming back out of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving tonight. this to Tiffany Haddish tonight, by the way. Exactly. Um, one no, night uh, only tonight. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, I, I think I'm always excited for the next one. I'm always excited to see what's next, and that's why I'm so excited for, for Boop. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I love everything. I mean, I, I miss my Madam Secretary cast. I love them all dearly, and I love doing that show. And uh, and my agent really misses it. My business manager really misses it. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk about tonight, because yeah. I I, just in case you have a couple of chairs left. We do. In fact, people... I was on the way down here. They just, we, we took out one row of seats. We put it back in for the cameras, so we have, like, one row of seats. <laughs> this is not a line. <laughs> uh, this is laughing at all the wrong things. <laughs> Why am I not performing tonight? <laughs> you need to laugh for your audience, Eric. We may. Nate, this guy's Nate. hilarious. Oh, God. Nate, you're being so rude to our guest. <laughs> no. Great. We love Nate. <laughs> But here's what he just told us. He he said they took a row out and now they put the row back in. Now we got to sell out that row for tonight. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what to say. We it's did it through. Of, I it's bull like crap, it. and you know it. You can take out a row, put no, a row did. back in. No, here's the thing. We've been figuring. Oh, so so. It's oh, here's a, what you like don't false know. False teeth. No, 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 no. I realize I left something out. We're filming it for TV, so okay. it's a, it's going to be TV special next year. So we put a row back in, and there are a few seats left for tonight, all on Ticketmaster. Mm. Oh yeah, take it, Master. It's called Dead Funny, an all-star tribute to Joan Rivers, of course, benefiting God's love we delivered at, at the world-famous Apollo. I mean, it's, why is everyone giggling? What's so funny? <laughs> I, keep I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting you can see us right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's fine. We're just making yes. making gestures over here. It's fine. It's Gandhi fine. had a thought. What's that, Gandhi? Well, you said you wish you were young enough to still be in Jersey Boys. Yeah. How so? How does that work with Broadway? Like, at what age do you age out of that role? Because on TV, they have thirty-five-year-olds playing seventeen-year-olds. That's right. Why can't that apply to Broadway? Well, it, no, it's not that it can't apply to Broadway. It's that my knees gave out okay. at a certain point. Uh, it's a, oh, Jersey wow. Boys was a double-decker set. No, it's just. I mean that show, you know, I ran a, ran my course in that show. Um, but I that that show was so great, the way that it made the audience feel every night. I mean, it's it's it's. Uh, uh, what point do people age out of Broadway? I don't know if you ever age out of Broadway. I think it's possibly the the it's the art form for the oldest people in the world. That's what I would say. Back. You just get different roles. You just keep you know. Yeah, I'll go back to Jer- up. I'm going to go back to Jersey Boys and play the uh, the uh, the the old mobster that's uh, you know lending the the boys money. I'll, I'll I'll go back and play that role when they bring it back. So what are you excited about these days? I mean, have you seen Sunset Boulevard? I saw Sunset Boulevard in London. That was the most wild thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, uh, there's, there's, I mean, there's lots of incredible things right now. Sunset's amazing. Did you see Cabaret uh, with Adam Lambert? I saw it with Eddie Redmayne. I haven't okay. seen it with Adam He's yet. so good. There's a great show on Broadway right now called Water for Elephants that has a few more weeks. Yeah. Uh, uh, my, my, one of my oldest friends in the world, Shana Taub, wrote this show called Suffs. That's on Broadway, oh. which is just a, incredible, especially right now. Um, but it's kind of the beginning of the, the, the women's rights movement. Um, and that has a, a few more months on Broadway. There's incredible stuff. I mean, my feeling about Broadway is buy a ticket, don't research what you're going into, just buy a ticket to the thing that looks great, <laughs> and great turn advice. off your phone and just go away for two hours. Yeah. I mean, it's that's that. the best thing in the world. Yep. Nate had a question. What's that, Nate? Okay, as an actor. Oh, my God. It's a two-part question. <laughs> what? Have, you, have you ever had to use a, and how large is your privacy sock? Have you ever had to? <laughs> how seriously, it's large serious, is? I'm, I'm Why sure are you asking wow. this? That's yeah. so rude. I, I think the, it's the, not uh, rude at all. This is a great, this is a, now that we're. He wants to 
how big it is. No, now that we're off the air, this is a really good question to talk about, and I would like to. I have a whole I have a whole diagram actually the that I brought. The um, witness will answer the question. You'd answer the question. Yeah. Well, I was on CBS, um, ah. and I and the thing about CBS is if there was a privacy sock involved, I think most of the viewership for CBS. <laughs> would have a stroke okay. I, I think so I, I don't think that's it's not it's not what you're okay. it's not what you're thinking it okay. would be if we were on so H- walk HBO with it. at home <laughs> <laughs> Nate is so intrigued and, and what's your this. second half how big is how it how big is it <laughs> the sock yeah it's uh, it's adjustable, <laughs> depending depending on what temp- what temperature the shower is. Are you, are you like ankle sock or like soccer sock? I well, I no uh, show. Actually, it's a compression sock. <laughs> <laughs> Do these like, like, jokes tonight? I'm sorry, I'm not. This is the, the A this material, by the way. These to are be, the jokes, to be people. fair, to be fair, Eric and I have had this conversation, and his word was epic. Is what I heard. Yes, oh. totally. epic. That's wow. true. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so, so tonight. I'm tonight. so I am so happy I didn't tell my mother to listen in this morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrifying. I'm sure she'd be very proud of you, young yeah. Eric. Eric Bergen, of course, uh, co-executive producing with uh, Melissa Rivers tonight. It's dead funny, an all-star tribute to Joan Rivers, of course, rain, raising some money for our friends at. God's love we deliver at the Apollo Theater. Go to Ticketmaster.com. Is that where we're going? That's right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Or you can go to glwd.org to donate money anyway. Yeah. You're the best, Eric. And Eric! next time I will have a voice. Thank you. I'll, I'll have be a voice speaking with my lawyer later. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Sorry, you're an actor. You can't afford one. Yes, so, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's great. <laughs> Nate is so intrigued. He's in love with you, Eric. You guys, I, I don't have a job after tomorrow, so if just bring me in whenever you just feed me scraps, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. All right, Eric Bergen tonight, dead funny, all-star tribute, Joan Rivers, of course, Apollo Theater. Thank you, Eric. Thank have a great you. Day. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge.